Hi everybody, my name is Davi and today I'm going to explain the differences between Vanguard and Fidelity and if you stay till the end of the video, I'll explain why after two years I moved from Vanguard to Fidelity as my main broker. Vanguard and Fidelity have a zero dollar entrance fee so when you make an account it doesn't cost money and it's also zero dollars if you want to transfer money from your checkings account to their account. Now Vanguard is a little bit different. If you are setting up with any of their IRAs or brokerage accounts, there is a $20 annual fee, but this is easily waived if you choose their e-delivery, so this is great if you want um, everything via email. However, Fidelity definitely has the advantage over here because they don't even offer a $20 fee at all. When it comes to the different types of accounts they offer, Vanguard and Fidelity offer similar accounts such as retirement accounts and brokerage accounts, but one main difference I notice is that Fidelity offers a debit account. So there was a promotion a few weeks ago. If you signed up with any Fidelity account, they would give you $100 if you deposited $50 or more. So I already had a Roth IRA, IRA, and brokerage with them. I was like, dang it, I can't do this. But actually I realized it had a money market account, um, which I thought was an online checkings account, which it is, but it also gives you a debit account as well. So that's one major difference I saw from Vanguard accounts and what Fidelity offers. One large difference between Fidelity and Vanguard is that Vanguard doesn't offer fractional shares with a caveat. After you buy the minimum of $3,000 of an index fund, <clears throat> then you can buy fractional shares. So for example, if I buy $3,000 of VT Sachs, then I can put like $50 in. So my principal will be 3,050. Totally missed the point in the video, so sorry. Vanguard's minimums for their index funds is $3,000. So if you wanted to invest in Vanguard's total stock market, VTSAX, you have to put $3,000 or more to get that index fund. Same thing with their other index funds and mutual funds. So that's kind of a lot. That is a lot to the average person. So it's kind of seeing, all right, Vanguard, like who is your audience? Like who is your clientele? Whereas with Fidelity, they do not have any $0 minimums for their index funds. So you can put in like $20 if you wanted to for their index funds. Moving on, um, Vanguard does have a minimum for ETFs, which is the cost of a share. For example, if you wanted to buy the ETF for Vanguard's total stock market, VTI, which is the ETF for the total stock market for Vanguard, that costs, as of today, the 31st of December 2021, it's $241.44. In order to buy that, you have to have $241 in that 44 cents. Unfortunately, you cannot have fractional shares. If you have $100, you cannot buy $100 worth of that share. But for Fidelity, that is the opposite. If you want to buy a stock, ETF, or index fund, you can have a fractional share. So which is really great for new investors in that they can invest with how much ever money they have. Vanguard and Fidelity both offer fractional shares. However, Fidelity is more true to that in which they have different securities such as stocks, ETFs, and index funds that allow for fractional shares you know, $20, for example, $40. However, with Vanguard, the only technical fractional share is after you've reached the $3,000 minimum for their index funds. For stocks, you have to buy them per share. So one share, two shares, three shares. Do they offer cryptocurrency? No, they do not. You cannot buy Ethereum, Bitcoin, Dogecoin, or any of that on Fidelity nor Vanguard. You have to go to like Robinhood, Coinbase, or other websites that trade cryptocurrency. But there are ETFs that Vanguard and Fidelity do trade that are heavily based on cryptocurrency. There's one called BitW that's being traded on Fidelity for about $38.15. One of the last things is I'm gonna go over is the interface of Vanguard and Fidelity. So Vanguard, I've had them for two years, and this is most of the reasons why I switched over. When I started investing, I was with Vanguard and Robinhood. I used Robinhood for individual stocks, and I use Vanguard primarily for index funds and ETFs. However, with the whole scandal of Robinhood 
not allowing people to trade during the squeeze of, I believe, GameStop. I moved all my assets from Robinhood to Vanguard. However, I had some fractional shares with Robinhood, so I wasn't sure how that was gonna work out with Vanguard, but luckily my fractional shares, they just convert it into and liquidate it into cash. But after that, getting used to buying fractional shares to not buying fractional shares, was very frustrating to say the least. So only after a few months, I couldn't take it anymore. I set up a transfer to, for all my assets to go to Fidelity. I was that sick of Vanguard's not having fractional shares, but also their interface. It was really tough to buy anything uh, on Vanguard. Like I remember when I started off investing, I didn't know how to buy an index fund. I literally had to YouTube how to buy an index from, from Vanguard. It was that frustrating and accessible. Same thing with stocks. It's just very clunky and cumbersome to buy anything. Now with Fidelity, and it's great, it's really easy. Probably the largest reason why I moved from Vanguard to Fidelity it is because it was so difficult to track my unrealized gains and losses. I literally had to like do the math manually. With Fidelity though, every day it shows you total loss or gains and then overall total loss and gain. So you really get to see how much money you're making off of your investments, which is something I like to see is the performance and whether they're worth keeping or not. Those are the reasons why I moved from Vanguard to Fidelity after two years. If you're deciding whether to choose Vanguard Fidelity, I recommend you do your own research, try it out yourselves, and I also recommend you try other brokerage accounts. There's a lot. I will see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.